Hello everyone, this is John from Titanic Games. Today I will be showing you how to add meshes into your project, all the different types of meshes you can add, and the editability of these meshes, where you edit them, when you edit them, when it would be best to edit them, uh, very basic stuff, not the large things like modifiers, but just stuff that it would be important to know, general knowledge. So. First of all, you want to have your shape selected like it is right now and hit X to delete so we can have a so we can have a clean screen for when we go through all the shapes. So down here in the bottom left corner, uh, it'll say add. Now when you scroll over, it'll show you the shortcut or the hot key for what that um what that uh function does or what that program does. Um, for adding, it is Shift A. So if you're in the middle of the screen, just hit Shift A, and the screen will appear. But right now, we're just gonna use this thing down here. So you click on it, and meshes are the main shapes. Now the rest of these are important and will come into play later. But meshes are the main shapes and will be what we will be dealing with today. So first of all, we've got our plane, and it's really just that it's a it's a plane. It's like a like a two-dimensional looking square thing. Next, we've got let's delete this first so the screen doesn't clutter itself. We've got the cube. The cube is what you start out with. It's the basic um, the basic blender shape. Uh, it's what most of, I don't want to generalize because different people will model out of different things, but it's easiest to model off of a cube because of its vertex count and its poly count and whatnot, but um, it's what they start you off with. And next, this is the circle. It won't be a circle like a filled circle. Uh, when they start you off, it's just a ring. Um, later on we will teach you uh, how to fill, how to make this like an actual circle circle, but circle, when you add it in, it's just a ring, like a, like not an actual circle circle, like a circle looking ring type thing. These next two I'm going to put in at the same time, so I'm going to move this one with the X axis arrow. I'm going to move it left, and I'm going to put in this one, and I'm going to move it this way, just so we can compare the two. Now, what we just added was a UV sphere and an ecosphere, ico icosphere, I don't know how to pronounce it, but words. So, this and this, they're both spheres, but it's very important to take notice at what makes them different. So, if you zoom in, you'll see that this shape is made out of all squares, quadrilaterals. And if you look at this one, you'll see that this is made out of all triangles. Um, when modeling in Blender, I find it most helpful to use um, quadrilaterals. I think that's also the norm in Blender, that texturing and uh, all further uh, aspects of the program are a lot easier when you have four-sided shapes, um, but I know the Ecosphere has, Ecosphere, however you choose to pronounce it, has its own uh, f function and purpose that someone else can probably explain more in detail. It looks cool. I know that. Um, we got our cylinder. Just a just a cylinder, exactly what you'd expect. Um, the cone, same, it's just a cone. Now the torus is a cool one. It's like it's like the the circle. It's like the uh, the ring, except it's not because it's all three D like. Like right now, I'm inside it. Look at that. That's cool. It's like hollow on the inside. It's 
the best way to describe it is like uh, one of those rings from the Sonic games. It's just, I think it's really cool. It's a unique shape. Um, I definitely use it a lot, but it has a high, high vertex count, high poly count. You don't need to worry about that now, but they come into play later. But definitely for uniqueness, I love this shape. Um, grid, I've never had to use grid much. Christian could probably explain that. I don't really know what a grid is used for. It looks exactly like the plane, but it probably has a purpose somewhere. Monkey. This is the uh, the Blender mascot, I think. Um, so they included it in the meshes for cuteness and whatnot. I like it. It's got it's got character. Very nicely modeled too. I like it. We'll keep it on the screen for the rest of the. Uh, the uh, tutorial how and what to how what and when and where to edit your shape so if you go down to the bottom left and click on this function here you will see that there are multiple modes that you can like if you click on each one it takes it changes like the screen layout a little bit um, the ones that are used most generally Again, not to generalize because each person will probably use Blender in a different way, but the ones that are used most are object mode and edit mode. Now, th the difference between object mode and edit mode is object mode, you see your object is laid out right in front of you, and edit mode um, is changed into basically everything editable. So your vertexes, all the points which you can grab are highlighted you can unhighlight them but it turns your shape from just an object into something that you can gr like you can grab it and manipulate it and that's the, the in general that's the point of edit mode so I'm control Zing right now that's how I'm undoing that so what is the difference between object mode and edit mode just basically that and edit mode is where you do all your heavy editing like pulling vertexes or these three buttons down here are important um, right now I was on vertex select which means any vertex I selected I moved if I changed it to that one then any edge I selected would be moved and then if I changed it to this one, face select, then any face I selected would be moved. So you can change how much you want moved at the same time. And we'll go into heavy editing later, like how you choose a lot at the same time, or how you, if you want all of them, you just hit A, etc., etc. But uh, in general, just edit mode for editing. So in Blender, there are three main functions. Not functions, but like editing uh, biggies. There is the rotate. Look at our monkey is spinning. There is the scale. Look at our monkey got really small and cute. And then there is the grab. Look, he's flying now. Um, now, open a new page because there is something important to remember with that. What I've just done, click on the plus button and look at this side tab over here. Now you see how everything is at 0 and the scale is at 1. The location, well let's do this one at a time. Let's, let's keep it with the cube, let's keep it simple for now. Let's start with scale. When you scale it, notice how the scale on the right side of the screen moves. It's best to keep it at 1 to 1, so 1 to 1 to 1, so scaling should normally be done in edit mode so that when you go back to object mode your scale is still in one to one to one it's just better uh, rotation same deal uh, the orientation of your shape will get all wonky if you do it in object mode so you go into edit mode and rotate it there and when you go into object mode, even though you rotated it like super crazy, 
the rotation in object mode will still be zero degrees, zero degrees, zero degrees. So scaling and rotating, you want to generally do in edit mode. Now grabbing with G, um, did I say that? Uh, scaling and scaling you do with S and rotating you do with R. I'm sorry if I didn't say that before. Um, grabbing, you can do with the right mouse button or you just do with G. Now, if you were to do that in edit mode, uh, all, and then you'll see that the orange point in the middle, the center of the shape, still stays where it is. And that will make it very awkward for editing later. So you actually want to do most moving in object mode, generally. Now, adding shapes, let's check this out. If you add a cube in edit mode, or add any shape in edit mode, when you go into object mode, they're the same shape because you added it in edit mode. The reason that is is because you are editing this cube, so when you added this cube, it became a part of that cube, if that makes sense. So you are editing one cube, so adding an object in edit mode was really just adding onto the other one. So when you want to add shapes, you have to do it in object mode so that it becomes an object, not an edited item. That is the basics of, and don't worry why it's gray, we'll deal with that later. But that is, those are the basics of what the meshes are, when to add them, why you should transform them, when you should transform them, and how you do that. Um, scale with S, rotate with R, uh, G for grab, or just play with the arrows for a little bit. I like grabbing it with the arrows. I know some people really don't like that, but I like the arrows. Um, thank you. If there's anything confusing, please ask, and I hope I was able to help.